Hey guys, welcome back, JT here, and today we're gonna talk about how to manifest by learning to not want things, to not desire things. By not wanting things, you will manifest your dream life. Welcome back guys, JT here. Hope you're all having a fantastic week, super healthy, staying fit, doing all the things for your mental health and physical health. And uh, yeah, we got a great video today. I'm super excited to talk about this. I love diving down the manifestation platform and going in depth with spirituality. And I guess uh, a lot of people are in the, the new age and like I wanna show people really uh, what it takes to actually manifest. And I think a lot of people you know, think about the law of attraction. And if you think about it over and over and over again, you're going to magically manifest it into reality. It's important to think about the things you want, but there's so much more that goes into it. Right. Um, and I think a lot of times too, we need to work on the back end before we get to the front end. And what I mean by that is you need to cultivate internal happiness before you get the things you want in life. Because oftentimes what happens when people win the lottery? They usually blow through all their money, they get addicted to drugs, or they commit suicide. Why is that? Because they think that these external things, these materialistic things, are going to make them happy. Nothing is going to bring us happiness in the world. You could have a billion dollars right now, it's not going to make you happy. See, when you can cultivate strong gratitude for everything that you have right now, you will become internally happy. If you can become internally happy right now with nothing, then when you have everything, you will be happy. But if you're not happy right now with the things that you do have, you're not gonna be happy with the things that you want. So it's a caveat because you, know, you have to learn this before you start manifesting. And what happens too, when you learn this, when you cultivate the internal happiness, you end up not wanting everything else because you're happy now. And if you're happy now and you stop wanting it, you're signaling to the universe that you're no longer chasing. And I've talked about this in many other videos. When you chase something, you are signaling to the universe, to God, that you want this thing, that you need this thing, and you're chasing it right out of your life. You need to flip it and attract it. How do you attract it? You stop wanting it. As Buddha says, the root, uh, the root of all suffering is desire, wanting. So if you can learn to not want things, then they will all come to you, right? And that is always what happens in relationships. You stop chasing the girl or guy, what happens? Then they come back. You're attracting them. You have to flip the script. So one way that I did this to learn internal happiness in order to manifest the things I want in my life is cultivating gratitude. So um, creating and buying just a regular notebook and doing a gratitude journal. I also have a, a manifestation journal on Amazon. You don't need it. You can buy a $3 journal at Walmart and writing down every morning what you're grateful for. And oftentimes we take it for granted. I remember I was working out at the gym the other day and I saw this guy working out with one arm and I was like, man, that, that would be rough. And I was just so happy that I have both my arms that I'm able to wake up, get out of bed and walk on my own two feet. I'm not in a wheelchair. I don't have any crazy disability. I'm, ha I'm grateful that I have a bed to sleep in, a roof over my house or a, a roof over my head and that I'm able to afford groceries. You know, it's all, it's all the little things that we don't even think about. I'm grateful for having a car just to be able to drive from point A to point B to be able to go to the gym, you know, the small things. When you start writing down every day what you're grateful for, all these small things, then you're gonna manifest the big things. And when you're writing down all these small things that we take for granted, you're cultivating internal happiness. And you'll start being extremely happy and grateful for what you do have. And when you're extremely grateful for what you do have, you'll be grateful when you get more. But if you're not grateful for what you have right now, or you don't even think about it on a day-to-day -day basis, when you get other things, it's gonna be fleeting joy, a moment. 
Like if, if right now, if you woke up tomorrow and I don't know, you won a Lamborghini, you would be happy in a sense for a couple days a week. And then you'd realize it doesn't give you any internal happiness. It's just a materialistic thing. It would wear out in a few weeks, in a month, month and a half. You'd be on to the next thing. Oh, I got to make millions now so I can buy a house to match the car. You know, it, it would it would be so brief. And that's what happens a lot of times when people become millionaires. I see it all the time with entrepreneurs that buy a Lambo, then they buy a McLaren. Then they're like, I need to get a Bugatti. And it's like, none of those things make you happy. I've heard interviews many, many times of millionaires and billionaires that are miserable. So before you actually learn to manifest, which this is pretty much the step one of manifesting, is you have to cultivate an internal happiness for the things that you are grateful for. And by doing that, all you have to do is journal. You don't have to write 10 pages. I usually wake up in the morning, have my coffee, and I'll do one page. I'll just do one page, which I think is 21 lines. It takes me five minutes, and I'll just write down all the things I'm grateful for. I'll, be, I'll even say, like, oh, I'm grateful for uh, being able to go to the gym yesterday, and uh, I'm grateful that I got to have pizza on my cheat day. Like, small stuff like that. Start writing that down. And every day you do that over and over, you're going to realize how amazing your life is. Like there's people that can't afford groceries. There's people that can't get a job. There's people in prison. There's people with disabilities. There's people in wheelchairs. There's people with cancer. There's people that are living in a hospital bed. There's so, so much pain and suffering in the world. When you can find that gratitude for the smallest things, Grateful to have a phone that I can call my mom or call my sister. Grateful to have clothes. And I don't, I don't even wear anything special. I buy $15, $10 shirts on Amazon and I have them in every single color. I don't buy anything with like logos or not logos, but like, you know, designs or anything like that. I'm like so simple. You know, I'll go out with a regular white shirt, black shirt, blue shirt, purple shirt. That's it. I'm grateful for that. I love that. I'm a minimalist. I love having the minimal amount of things. And again, when you look at all that kind of stuff, all that small stuff, your life is going to go in the correct direction because you're going to stop wanting. If you're happy now, if you have internal happiness and you're thinking in a positive way, you're not going to be thinking about, oh, I need to become a millionaire. Oh, I'm, I need to make more money. Oh, I need to wear Gucci, this, that, and the third. It's not going to, it's not going to be in your mind anymore. And if it's out of your mind, like I said, with the girl and the guy chasing, you're not chasing it anymore. It's going to come to you f more fluid. It's just going to manifest 10 times faster. So that's, a, that's like the beginning key to manifestation is like really cultivating internal happiness now so that when you do manifest your dream life, you're happy internally and you're not looking for happiness from materialistic things that will never give you that happiness. If you have 10 Lambos and 10 Bugattis and five houses and this, this, and a million, a plane, a jet, and all, it's like, it's not going to make you happy. Look at, look at um, Elon Musk. He's like, uh, is he, he's either the richest man or one of the richest men in the world. He lives in a container home, a tiny home. He can literally buy anything he wants. He can buy states if he wants to. He lives in a tiny home, little tiny home. Because materialistic things, they mean nothing. That does not give you happiness. So when you learn to cultivate that happiness internally now, we know that everything is a mirror reflection. Whatever is going on inside your world is what your reality looks like. Internal world, outside world. Whatever is on the inside is going to be on the outside. If you're constantly in negativity in the outside world, you're constantly going to have negativity. You switch your mindset, start becoming aware of all of the negative thoughts you have and cultivate that self-awareness and start shifting and alchemizing those negative thoughts into positive thoughts. That would be the second step. First step, gratitude journal, become grateful, start making that a habit, 21 days to make or break a habit, write out what you're grateful for for three weeks, then start working on becoming self-aware of all the negative thoughts. When you become self-aware of all the negative thoughts, only then can you shift them. If you don't know what's going on in your own mind, if you're not taking accountability or have awareness of it, you're never going to be able to change your mindset into a positive mindset. That's the simple fact. So gratitude, then start working on 
listening to your own negative thoughts. And every time you have a negative thought, shift it and alchemize it into a positive thought. And it's as simple as that. That's like the first beginning steps of manifestation. And not only that, you're just going to feel so much lighter and so much more at ease when you start doing these two things. Life will become so much easier, so much more simple, so much more simple. And over time, you start building in affirmations and you'll see that your mind will start to change. I used to take walks for 45 minutes and I would repeat in a loop four affirmations. Usually it was, I am confident, I am smart, I am wealthy, I am whole. And I would repeat that over and over for 45 minutes. And sometimes, you know, I'd, I'd say it, you know, 10, 15 times and then my brain would wander off on something or I'd see something or someone would say hi to me. Then I go right back into it and just keep saying it over and over on repeat. And you have to think we have 70 to 80,000 thoughts a day and 90% of them are negative and on repeat every single day. It's not going to just take a couple walks or a couple affirmations of saying, I am confident in the mirror. If you've been saying I'm stupid or I have been broke my whole life, if you've said that, however, hundreds and hundreds of thousands, millions of tens of millions of times, you're, it's not going to just shift doing it a couple times. You have to make it a new habit. Once it becomes a new habit, 21 days to make or break, and you say that over and over for 21 days, your brain actually starts to rewire. When your brain starts to rewire, now you're having positive thoughts. And if you have 70 to 80,000 thoughts a day and 90% of them are negative, let's just say 50,000 positive thoughts a day now versus 50,000 negative thoughts. Over every single day, 50,000 positive thoughts, that's your new normal. And if that's your new normal and you're having all those positive thoughts, if your inner world reflects your outer world, you're going to start seeing change in your outer world. People are going to be nicer to you. People are going to want to be around you. You're going to have a much more uplifted energy. Everything in your life is going to start working out great. And there's tons more steps. You can you know, do visualization. You can do uh, affirmations on a journal platform. Um, you can do visualization techniques before bed, which I'll, you know, I'll talk about in other videos. But like, this is like the beginning step to manifest and to just change your attitude and become internally happy. You know, a lot of people say they're happy, but they're not. 95% of people that say they're happy are not. And, you know, that's just your ego. Your ego is like, nah, yeah, I'm good. I'm, it's a protective mechanism. But if you really started writing down all your negative thoughts, you would see that you're not happy. So I always tell people this, like, start with the gratitude journal. Get that uh, cultivation for internal happiness going. Do that for a few weeks. Make it a habit. And then start working on listening to the negative thoughts going on in your mind. And that's how you start manifesting. So uh, I think that's going to conclude it. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. I just want to change as many people's lives as possible. I've been on this journey for a year and a half now. And it's absolutely changed my life. I used to want to be a millionaire and all these things. And you chase it right out of your life. When you can switch that script and stop wanting it, that's when it all comes to you. It's crazy. And when you stop wanting it, you actually become happier. When you're always chasing, like, oh, one day I'll be a millionaire. If you're chasing that for 10 years, what, are you going to wait 10 years to be happy? No, you're, you're literally wasting your life. So the key is to become happy now with whatever it is that you have. And if you can do that, when you get all the things you want in life, you will still have that internal happiness and no one can take that away. Even if you lost the millions of dollars or whatever it is that you had in the dream relationship, you still have your internal happiness and you'll get it all back. That's the, that's the key. That's the key to success, having internal happiness with nothing. All right, guys, enjoy the day. I'll talk to you guys next time. Stay safe. Go get a workout in. Stay fit. Eat healthy. Have a cheat meal here and there. And uh, most importantly, love God, because he's the one that did it all for us. But uh, take care, guys.